If you're part of the Elemental community, you know how WooCommerce is a subject that keeps coming up among users. And this is partially because building an e-commerce website with WooCommerce seems like a daunting task, even for experienced developers. However, like many other technically complex tasks, understanding how the process works and going over it a few times does make it so much easier. This is the first in a series dedicated to working with WooCommerce. And in this Monday Masterclass, we'll be showing you how to set up your own store and start selling products, such as my brand new fictional ebook, Tell Me Why I Freaking Love Mondays. <laughs> now let's get started. In this Monday Masterclass, we'll be going through the whole process from setting up our WooCommerce account to building and launching our store. So far, all we've done is downloaded and installed the WooCommerce plugin, the same way as we would any other plugin on WordPress. Once that is done, we get this WooCommerce setup wizard. Now, as you can see, the UX is wonderfully welcoming and intuitive, making this part of the process easy and simple. On the first page, we'll register and set up our store by adding our physical address and contact details, as well as defining the type of store or type of products we intend to sell. In our case, I'll select the plan to sell both physical and digital products because I may want to sell a hard copy version of my wonderful book in the future. After we've reviewed the terms and conditions, we'll click on the Let's Go button. Next, we'll link up our payment method so that all the money we'll be making will go into our designated accounts. Like most people, we'll be using our PayPal accounts and click Continue. Next, we'll define the size and weight of our products in case we decide to ship a hard copy version of the book. We prefer measurements in kilograms and centimeters to make it easier for most of the world and click continue. We'd rather not add any of these recommended products. I mean, you might find them helpful, but we're going to uncheck them and click continue. We're nearly done with the setup. Now here you can choose whether you want to use Jetpack or not. We're going to skip this one too and click on skip this step. And there we are. So the setup is done and we can now create our product by clicking here. But we feel that it'll be much better if we go back to the WordPress dashboard and see how we do it from there. So back on the WordPress dashboard, we can check to see that our details are all in order. As you recall, apart from the one book, there won't be anything else to buy from this page, at least not now. So we want the user to be redirected to the checkout or cart page as soon as they've clicked on our only item. To do this, we'll go to the WooCommerce tab and select Settings. And here we'll go to Products and under Add to Cart Behavior, we'll mark the option to redirect to cart page. Now that we've finished setting up the WooCommerce on our WordPress dashboard, the next thing to do is to add and define our products or in this case, the product. To do that on the WordPress dashboard, we'll go just below the WooCommerce tab and click Products and select Add New. In the product info page, we'll enter a product name, tell me why I friggin love Mondays. As we can see, the default permalink to this product is a bit messy, but we can make it look more professional by clicking Change Permalink. And in the WordPress permalink settings, we'll select the custom structure and create that structure by typing forward slash percent sign and the word product name, one word, and then the percent sign again and the forward slash. Then click save. This simple phrase tells WordPress to use the name of the product in the permalinks slug line. Now we'll return to our product page and refresh it to find that our new slug line looks a lot more professional. If this seems a little complicated for you, you can always add a slug line field to this product form and whatever you write in the slug line box will appear in the address. Next, we'll add some info about the product and about yours truly. We can also insert photos by clicking on Add Media, selecting a photo and clicking Insert. We'll add some text here select it and use the formatting options to align it nicely. We'll make this part look more like a heading. 
and on to the product data. Our product is a simple product, meaning that there are no customization options or changes that will be made to the product. In other words, it is sold as is. And my book is also a downloadable product, a PDF file. So I will select this option here. I'll be charging $18 for one digital copy of my masterpiece. Yes, I agree. It's a wonderful bargain. Notice that if we want to, we have an option to set a special sale price and set the schedule for it. We will now upload the downloadable copy of our product and give it a name. We'll set the download limit or the number of times a customer can download this product to one. We'll also set the download expiry to 30 days. You can also see that if we ever want to sell physical products that need to be shipped, we have all kinds of great options related to things like inventory and shipping over here. We're going to add a short description of the product in this editor box over here. This will be displayed on the top half of the page alongside the image of the product. I'll add a nice little blurb here and then we'll add some quotes from reviews using the block quote format option and put them in bold to make them look a little nicer. Moving on to the right hand side of our product form, we'll insert an image of our product. In our case, it's the cover of my new book. Notice that the default settings are cropping the image that I have uploaded. And the way to repair this in WooCommerce 3.3, the version that I am currently using, is to go to Appearance on the WordPress dashboard and select Customize. And from the tabs on the left here, we'll select WooCommerce, and select product image and in the image options in the top left corner here we'll select the uncropped option and click publish. Now we'll add some product tags and remember to separate each tag with a comma. I'll add book, autobiography, uh, WordPress, adventure, pirate treasure. I'm telling you guys this is an amazing book. You may have categories in your online store but we're only selling one item, so we'll skip this part here. Now that we're very happy with this product and the setup we've done for it, we'll hit publish to make this product available. The last thing we need to do to sell this product is create a store, a web page, a place to display the goods for sale. As many of you have seen before, to create that page, I'll go to pages, then add new, I'll give it a name, and then I'll click on edit in Elementor. Now notice that I have this header with a menu at the top of the page. This belongs to WooCommerce's default theme called Storefront that is installed and activated when we activate the WooCommerce plugin. If we want to remove the header or use a header of our own design, we'll have to deactivate this theme. Regardless, we just prefer to work with the Hello theme for several reasons you've probably heard before, such as speed and flexibility. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard, to Appearance, select Themes, and we'll activate our Hello theme. When we go back to the Elementor editor, you'll notice that everything is back to normal. We even have the header we created for our store using the Theme Builder. For those of you wondering how we do that, we'll leave a link in the show notes to our masterclass on building a one-page website where we saw how to build cool headers and footers with Theme Builder. Meanwhile, I'll go to Settings and hide the page title. Now for our page. We'll use a template that we prepared earlier by clicking on the template icon and in the template window in the My Templates tab, we'll select the template we prepared and insert it. As you can see, we've built it the same way as we would every page, using sections and widgets. But let's get down to business and add a section that will allow visitors to place an online order and purchase our product. The first thing that we want to do is insert an anchor widget here. In the editor panel, under the content tab, I'll name it Order. Now I'll go to the buttons labeled Order Now, such as this one in the Hero section, and in the Editor under this button's Content tab, I'll add the name of our anchor in the link box. We should also do the same thing for the Order Now button in the header by going into the header template, which I can do by opening the Elementor Finder with Command or Control E and typing the name of our header, selecting it. 
Once we're in our header template, we'll do the same process again. Click on the Order Now button and in the editor, enter the name of the anchor. We'll click Update and hitting the Command or Control and E keys will bring up the Elemental Finder and go back to our main page. Back on our page, the next thing we'll do is add a new section with two columns. I'll drag an image widget into the left column. Then in the editor panel, I'll use the option to select my image. Now I'll drag a heading widget to the right hand column. In the editor, we'll set the alignment to center and then go here and duplicate it. In the top heading, I'll type the title of my masterpiece, the name of our product. I'll go up here and copy this heading, then come back down to our product section and paste the style onto the heading widget because after all, we want to keep our page design consistent. And this is a very quick way that we can do that. In the next heading, we'll type the price of our product. In the editor, under the style tab, we'll give it a color that appears elsewhere on the page. We'll go to typography and change the font to Anton and make it size 72, weight 300. Now, let's just go into the editor under the advanced tab and add some padding to our column on the right hand side here. We could also make the image on the left really stand out by adding a negative value of say 100 pixels to the widget's top margin. Okay, so now we've got the basics of our product section done, we'll add one of the WooCommerce widgets that are added to our library automatically. We could use the search box to find it, but I want to show you where these widgets appear in the library here. We'll grab the custom add to cart widget and drag it down to here. Now we'll customize it really quickly by copying this button here and just like we did before, we'll paste the style onto our add to cart button. In the Editor tab, we'll change the text to Order Now. In the Style tab, we'll change the button's color scheme to complement the top heading of this section. OK, so it looks great, but it also has to be functional. So let's make sure that this button is set up correctly. Under the Content tab, in the Product section, we'll make sure that the correct product is selected. We also have an option to show or hide the quantity of the product, but I think we'll keep it hidden because customers can always change the quantity later on on the checkout page. Now we'll go to the button's options and align it to center, and we're done. We'll save our draft and preview our store. And as you can see, it looks great, but let's test the buttons. Now let's test our Add to Cart button. And as you can see, it's all working brilliantly. All of this, the shopping cart page, the checkout page, is set up and ready to go. Now, professionally speaking, all that's left to do now is to tweak the site for responsive views so that it'll look just as great on all devices. But look at that, an online store set up in no time at all. Well, my store is ready and everything is up and running and it's just a matter of waiting for the orders to come storming in and my new fictional ebook, Tell Me Why I Friggin' Love Mondays, to become an international bestseller. <coughs> Aha! It started already. I'll have to man the helm and tend to my very first order. But not before I remind you that this is part of a series dedicated to WooCommerce. So you are going to want to click that subscribe button and tap that bell to be sure that you don't miss out on any masterclasses like this one. Until next time and the possible release of my second novel, Why I Have Issues with Tuesdays, thanks for watching. Cheers.